Hi, this is Damon Tennant from www.mygedlive coming to you with a GED styled word problem. Um, Jason sold 30 subscriptions on Monday, 21 subscriptions on Tuesday, 37 subscriptions on Wednesday, 24 subscriptions on Thursday. How many subscriptions does he need to sell on Friday? to average sales of 30 subscriptions every day of the week. So remember when we're starting with word problems the last thing we want to do is jump into the middle of the problem. We want to use the Get Your GED Now test preparation series method. I'm not going to go too in depth in that method right now but I'm just going to kind of walk through what the steps would be. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to figure out what the question is asking us. So the question, I want to reread just the question portion. How many subscriptions does he need to sell on Friday to average sales of 30 subscriptions uh, per day of the week? So we're just going to put up here, we're looking for subscriptions on Friday. That's our goal. And this is very important when you're when you're working on the GED word problems is to always start with what are they actually asking me? Then we want to go ahead and catalog the steps. What what pieces of information are in the problem? So it tells us that they sold I'm just going to abbreviate M for Monday, 30 subscriptions on Monday, 37 uh, subscriptions on Tuesday. Oops, sorry, 21 subscriptions on Tuesday, 37 subscriptions on Wednesday, 24 subscriptions on Thursday, and we're looking for Friday. So again, Jason sold 30 subscriptions on Monday, 21 subscriptions on Tuesday, 37 subscriptions on Wednesday. 24 subscriptions on Thursday. How many subscriptions does he need to sell on Friday to average sales of 30 subscriptions each day of the week? So the next thing we want to do is, is pull one more piece of information out of this problem, which is the 30 subscriptions per day of the week. So this is a five day work week. If he averages 30 subscriptions, there's five days in the work week. So if he averages 30 subscriptions five days in the week, he's going to get 150 subscriptions. Okay. So the question still is, though, how do we find out how many subscriptions he needs to sell on Friday to be at his average? So let's go ahead and just add up what he has so far. 4 plus 7 is 11 plus 1 is 12, carry the 2. 1 plus 3 is 4, uh, plus 2 is 6, plus 3 is 9, uh, plus 2 is 11. So, so far this week, uh, Jason has sold 112 subscriptions. In order to hit his average, he needs to sell 150 subscriptions in the week. So then the final step of this problem would simply be to take 150 minus 112. So here's his average subscriptions. And then we're going to subtract uh, the subscriptions that he's actually already sold. And that gives us 38 subscriptions or the answer, uh, 38 subscriptions on Friday. These are the kinds of problems that you'll see on the GED math test. Many people get all tuned up about algebra or they're worried about geometry or complementary or supplementary angles. But really, these kinds of questions are the meat of the test because you have to remember that ultimately the GED test is a reading test and it's really testing your ability to interpret the information that I've just read to you to identify which part 
of the of the text is the question and then to pull out the information and to identify which pieces of the information that you need uh, in order to get back to this answer here the subscriptions on Friday and this is what we do in the get your GED now test preparation series in our website www.mygedlive.com we teach you how to systematically work through these problems because over and over this is why adults are not passing this test they're not passing this test because they're missing one or two little nuances of what I just walked you through uh, in their frustrating themselves and hitting 380 and hitting 390 and hitting 400 and not quite getting that 410 that you need to pass in order to pass the GED test. Again, this is Damon Tennant with the www.gedlive.com just sharing with you a GED style word problem. Thank you.